So, uh, I'm gonna say that I got con. Not this. This is this is good. But uh, as y'all know from watching really any of my videos, uh, I'll, two, three months ago, I talked to a guy on my Mandalorian forum. He had a helmet that I wanted, and you know, he wanted to trade. So I sent him my Black Series Kylo Ren, and all right, tracking number and everything. Okay, I send it, give him the tracking number. I'm watching it. I'm tracking stuff. I'm, uh, I'm checking, making sure there's no problems. It's, you know, it's arriving at the different places. And I got a confirmation of delivery saying, hey, yeah, it's there. Sign for it. All right, sweet. And uh, didn't hear from him. I messaged him, tell him that it, or he said that it's not there yet. Oh, okay, I guess it's just at the post office. And it's like, all right, well, the helmet I was going to send you has a huge crack in it. So I'm going to rework the mold because the mold seems to be the problem. And I'm going to recast it. And I have a couple more I have to do. So the first one I do will be sent to you. All right, cool. Mind you, this was in June. May is when I sent the helmet. June is when I got the confirmation. Now, the 28th of July, I, I, I message him. Hey, can I get like a ETA on the helmet? Or, you know, your mold progress or what? He says he doesn't have the helmet. There's a heat wave causing problems with his resin set. Those of you who aren't familiar with resins, resin sets thermally. It heats up and that causes it to harden. The catalyst agent causes it to heat up and makes it harden. Well, he's using slush casting. So unless it is hotter than Hades in Seattle, Washington right now, I'm talking hot, equatorial temperatures. You're not going to have many problems with casting. You're going to get it in, you're going to start, and it's just going to set faster. Now, it, it's rotocast, or slush, meaning you're moving the casting shell and mold around to slush around that resin. And it's just moving and going. And it, even when it is stupid hot outside, it's still not going to set, you know, pour it in, you start turning, and boom, you've already got a block. No. It's going to slush, and it's going to do the mold. Now, how many coats you're going to need to get that mold perfectly even, that's going to change. Because it's going to set faster, you're going to have more unevenness on the inside. Not the outside. The outside is going to be fine. But the inside of the helmet is going to be more uneven. Noisy cricket, I'll get on to that in a minute. So there's that. And, you know. Okay. You're not comfortable doing this. Okay, fine. And he tells me, Oh, the package for the Kylo Ren is missing. Even though you said you picked it up. So, I got conned out of a helmet I deeply love. Kylo Ren is one of my favorite characters. Why? Because he 
in, he really embodies what the Sith is. I mean, not a lack of control, but rather letting your emotions drive you. And I loved it. I loved the design of the helmet. It fit, it was sleek, it was grand, it was beautiful. I loved the helmet. The only reason I was trading it was because he had an open season with Death Watch. That was the only reason. Uh, well, I have gotten absolutely nothing. Well, no help, no pictures of progress, no updates, no nothing, just silence. So I messaged the guy, so, hey, where's it supposed to be? Where's it at? How's the mold going? Come on, he told me to keep me up to date. And, well... Because if it was really missing, he would have told me. He would have said, hey, man, I was like, I'm not getting this package. I don't know where it's at. It's not at the post office. It's not a delivery. I don't know where it's at. Well, I would have heard something at the very least. I would have heard at least a... Hey man, what's up? Where's the helmet? I would have heard at least that. Heard nothing. Till today, or it's just. Oh no, I don't have the helmet. I don't have a helmet to sing with. I can't cast anything because it's hot. So, uh, how much does a Kylo Ren Black Series go for these days? I got it on Christmas Day. I'm lucky I did. The second I got my Christmas money, Dad ordered this one. Okay. So, um, and when I ordered it, it was like 30% of its normal price. Give or take. I paid 70 Kylo Ren Black Series Helmet. Let us see what it is doing now. A hundred and seventeen fifty nine. So I got con. I'm very unhappy about it. And it's not like I can really do anything because there's no proof I've been con. Because, like I said, there's no updates, there's nothing about him saying the helmet's missing until today. And there's a tracking number saying it's delivered. That's it. And I want to say, you know, fuck it. Just a helmet. And it is. It is just a helmet. At the end of the day, it is just a helmet. And if I really wanted to make a Kylo Ren, I could. It pisses me off that, you know, hey, here's this guy. He says, hey, I can trade you. So I've been, I haven't exactly been looking for a Black Series Kylo, but if you've been looking for this helmet, well, I don't use it. I can send it off to you if you send me that. Okay, cool. Getting dry. Yeah, fine. Alright, cool. Lo and behold, here I am, about three months later, nothing to show for it, missing a helmet I enjoyed. Mostly because it terrorized my niece to no end. Now, not only am I cut short a helmet I enjoyed, but now I have to order a helmet on top of that. Fucking 
great, isn't it? Graph. But anyway, here's a moody first impression review of the Noisy Cricket by Wisemech and uh, J Bo. Noisy Cricket is a series mech mod. Meaning the batteries are set up positive to negative. That doubles your uh, voltage, which doubles your doesn't does it? Volt I mean, you get wattage is voltage times two divided by resistance. This thing runs about three and a half watts. Here's this thing on a much lower resistance work on 60 watts for the same length. Three watts. RDA, I, I wasn't paying attention to that. It's a used RDA, but um, just because they were on sale. But it's like an Alliance 15 millimeter. I love it because it's got a good sized build deck and a lot of real estate in both places. Up here is not the airflow, it's just a beauty ring. The airflow is here on the sides in these little triangular vents, which were actually upside down when I got it for some reason. It was weird. I can't do more than like a two or three second hit on this thing. These guys, I can, I can hit, you know, five, six, seven second hit. No, I think seven second hit will kill me on this thing. But the Noisy Cricket is, uh, not exactly, you know, a terrible mod, but it can be a dangerous mod. Because it uses a hybrid plug. On this, it uses a, fuck, what is it, 1510, something like that, Five, 510, it uses a 510 plug. That plug in there is spring-loaded, the bottom of your atomizer touches down on it, and that pushes against the battery. On one of these, your atomizer itself is touching the battery. So the whole bottom plate is a negative. And uh, what happens when negative touches positive in a circuit? It completes and it shorts. That little gold pin there in the middle, right there, that's your positive. That is the only thing you want touching your battery. You don't want nothing else to touch your damn old battery. It does, but you get it short. And you know, if you uh, you don't realize that, and um, your negative is touching your positive, your thing is shorting out while it's just sitting there. So when you go to hit it, that is what causes explosions. And the noisy cricket is one of one of a few mech mods that uh, were very notorious for exploding because people didn't realize that and they were cranking their addies way down tight using the wrong batteries I'm using a recommended battery the 25R it's a Samsung 25R something like that it was an 18650 that's the recommended batteries you know it works it works good I'm checking the heat of the thing the whole time. That's why I haven't put any kind of cover on it except this O-ring just for some grippage so that it doesn't slide. The O-ring is there purely so that way I have a reference. That way I can not have to look at it and my hand will be right in the place it needs to be to hit it. Drying out. So... All in all, today was a fairly uh, day. 
one hand, I got an excellent vape that I'm starting to really enjoy. I love the look of it. I love that the atomizer and the, like, the mech itself are very similar colors. I love it. I love the detail of the bottom on the vents to help keep the batteries cool. Love it all. I love the simple button. I like mech buttons. They're simple. Now, if I'm running something like a tank, I'd rather have a screen so I can see exactly what's going on. That fell and blew apart. Oh, it was broken anyway. This is a mech mod. A regulated mech mod. This is a mech mod. An unregulated mech mod. And, uh, I don't like these. The spring-loaded buttons. Because, uh, this one, I don't use. Why? This doesn't work. Why doesn't it work, you ask? Well, it was my brother's. He was hitting it one day. And he stopped hitting it. But it didn't stop hitting it. The spring and the gear system down here that keeps the button going got stuck. And it stayed active. And it turned into a flamethrower on him. You can't even get the screws out because they're all gunked in with bricked out juice. There's the glass of that tank full of plastic. Ah, <sighs> So, uh, yeah. Today was a pretty fucktastic shit on my ass day. I got conned out of the helmet I love, thinking I was going to get another helmet that I love. And, uh, I have absolutely nothing to show for it, and I can't do anything about it. Goes to show, people on the internet can be some, uh, pretty bad people. But, whatever. If he can live with conning a kid out of stuff, let him. It's just a helmet. I don't need to pursue it. It just sets back my entire project significantly. Admittedly. <laughs> admittedly very significantly it sets it back. But I still have my design. I still have the pieces of the suit I have. I still have my templates for my armor, which I really need to get cut out. I don't still have a flight suit. Flight suit's really my only issue right now. And yeah, that's it. That was my day today. What a fun day, isn't it? Horizon.